Oh, hi everybody. My name is Musa. I'm here with Sunny. <laughs> Sunny. Sunny is kind of shy. I'm from. So I'm in Sunny's car today. I'm from Sudan. Um, Sudan is a very, very beautiful place. A very nice place. Our our culture entails on behold a lot of good food and a lot of great people. We have good smiles everywhere we come through. And I told Sunny here I know how to speak a little bit of Hindi. But he said no, but let me try it and see. Um <laughs> Nice to meet you. And please subscribe to Sunny's channel and let's keep it going, please. Tell me something about your migration to america you know it was it was it was pre i was pretty young uh -huh. at that time so i think my parents handled all of it but it was a smooth transition uh, -huh. uh I, I had to get used to the curriculum here though for the right. schools uh -huh. but america is a very good place to come to it's a very good place to stay mm -hmm. good place to study good place to make something out of yourself but america is also good enough to break you <laughs> so when you come make sure you have some good head and make sure you know what you're doing make sure you have a goal and make sure you follow any dream that you have absolutely 110% uh, yes uh, any more questions sir yes uh, you know uh, what your dad and mom does here and your siblings and my dad was a politician right. um, my mom was a housewife uh -huh. i'm a pilot uh -huh. oh. uh, which airlines you drive? Uh, uh, not not uh, not a big airline it's a it's private okay. yeah private company okay yeah, so... So where did you learn this flying? Here, okay. in Texas. Okay, how far, how long it took, uh, took uh, that training? So my private pilot license took me probably, f let's say a year, a year uh -huh. and a half. Uh -huh. Because I had to do some of my weight, I had to release, I used to be fat, very, okay, very fat. Okay, right, okay. So I had to release some weight out of my body, but... Uh -huh. After that, it took me completely to my CPL. It took me to two years and six months, uh -huh. complete to fifteen hundred hours. Oh, okay. Now yeah. you have flight now also fifteen hundred with you. I have more than fifteen hundred now. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, this was twenty nineteen uh -huh. when I graduated. Uh -huh. So now I have at least four to five thousand. Oh, for the now. Um, you drive uh, how many seater or how many engines? Uh, uh, 14 uh, is a CRJ four, CRJ 250 and a CRJ 450. Uh -huh. And I do fly a G550 too, uh -huh. so from there as well. Okay, how far you go with your private jets? Uh, it depends uh -huh. on where work takes me. Uh -huh. and it doesn't matter. Right. So anywhere that says, oh, you gotta go here, I gotta go. But uh -huh. there, I don't think there's any limit. Or any, I think you can keep you can keep going straight, okay, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, you enjoy it, huh? Uh huh. Okay. So, what is your next aim? Like, you go for some private? Uh, you, uh, no, my next aim is business. Business. Yeah. So you will be doing some taxi air services, something like that. No, uh, shop, smoke shop. Small shop. Yeah. Oh, but something related to aviation. And something no. related to aviation, no, not right now, no. because it takes a lot of a lot of investment, exactly. But hopefully in the near future. Right. In the near future. Yeah, right, something. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye. When was the last time you've been to Sudan? You tell me about Sudan. Uh, two thousand and seventeen. Uh -huh. Was the last time I went. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, one of my cousin, she was in Indian consulate in Sudan, okay. and also my one of my colleague, yeah. uh, he was in Khartoum for a very long time. He was. You know. Okay, is it recording? Yes. Uh, you tell me, tell us about uh, the Indian India visit. You know. Uh, no, I just went to Mumbai. Uh -huh. I went to, uh, I went to Delhi too as well. Right. How but, you were there? Uh, I stayed the first time I stayed there for two weeks. The uh -huh. second time I stayed there for four days. Four days. Yes. Uh, how did you find India? I, uh, how I, you are I went for work. Right. Yeah, I went for work. India India is a beautiful country. But the food populated, huh? like Sudan it is equally populated, huh? Is Sudan is it's very, very populated, but I don't think as populated as India. No? 
India is very yeah, populated. India is very, very hot too in India. So, um, you live very near to Khartoum city? Uh, yeah, we live in Khartoum. In Khartoum. Yeah. It's near. It's a Nile Delta right? Oh yeah. So, so the problem now is there's yeah, war. Right, and right, yeah. Right. I know it's the two military uh, right, groups military, that. Yeah that don't want to settle on who's boss yeah. everybody wants to be boss right. uh sing a song what you know please uh, sing it a song. <laughs> i sing don't i, I don't I, I think i think that's the only one i know no? lyric wise uh, kabhi kushi, kabhi gum. i don't know that song no? but i know i know i know the rhythm yeah so i know that one I, you know Shahrukh Khan and all Yeah, I, I know. I know Shahrukh Khan. I know Preeti Zinta. Yeah, Zinta, so nice, huh? Yeah, very, and still is. She's still yeah. very beautiful. Smile and all. Oh yeah, she's she's very beautiful. She's very beautiful. Yeah, Ashura Rai is there. She's a beauty queen. Now, since this is your channel, is it's time for you. Let me interview you. Yeah. How how long have you been here? I've been here for the last fourteen years. Fourteen? Yes. So, what is your favorite, most favorite thing here? Um, you know, my sister was here. She filed our case. So, we came as immigrants. Okay. So, you know, I was working in Abu Dhabi those days. And we go, you know, we moved with our family. I so stayed in Dubai too for a minute. Oh, yeah. Nice. What Abu part of Abu Dhabi did you stay? I was in Abu Dhabi city. Nice. Uh, so, Abu Dhabi city, Alliance city, they both were in my area. Uh, I was an engineer, maintenance supervisor. So I worked there for 14, 15 years there. Uh, nice. Then our case, uh, you know, it got approved. So I was working with consultants in Galveston. You okay. know, we had a very special field of engineering that is uh, vertical transportation. Okay. I worked. I worked for uh, Otis Elevators okay. and Escalators here for 30 years, uh, almost 34, 15 years in India and 15 years in Abu Dhabi. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. I went with an accident in Abu Dhabi, uh, and I got little difficulty, so I cannot uh, walk much. Uh, yeah, but you know, I was in office uh, doing my design and all. But you know, in Galveston, I was with the consulting uh, team, uh, and stomite came, you know, mm. uh, and that island got wiped out. Oh wow! Yeah, so I moved to a different uh, job. Okay, I mean, so I what do you do now? I do, I make, uh, we make reports to doctors actually. Okay. So our company has some medical device and patients wear it and we get those hard recordings. So yes. IT in general? In general, IT it is a software we are working on it. Okay. It's a program and we make reports for doctors. Uh, you know, people wear it for three days, 14 days. So the whole recording doctors don't see, but see, they see the vital changes, what? We found it, you know, and they check it. Uh, so we make reports to doctors. And that's so, nice. Oh, yeah. That's nice. And, uh, and what is your dream? My dream? Oh, I see. I am sixty. No, no. You no see, more dreams, no. You know, there's always a dream. Uh, yeah. You there's know, always a dream. Yeah. So what's you know, your dream? I, 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 I am a contented person. I worked so many years in the field. From the age of twenty-one, I am working, and I attend. Uh, all my levels of achievement there. Mm. You know, here since I am little uh, disabled, you know, uh, I cannot, I cannot dream to be, you know, a CEO or, you know, uh, to invest something so that I can, you know, make big, big, big sinners out of it. But, but of course, we are dreaming on our children. You know, they got their education, and we will help them out to, uh, to you know. Exactly. So one thing my father always told me was uh -huh. whatever it is in life right. don't ever let age be a yeah, a point on your on your brain so whatever it is whatever whatever happiness hold on i have to call you